And welcome back to Tor Vale and continuing on with the build of the Royal Albert Bridge. The pillars have been done. Um, I am considering now, as I said last time, possibly doing it twice the height. So I will be speaking to Peter and seeing at some point that I can get um, extra pillars and columns for it to hold it up higher. Uh, I think it will look a bit more realistic on the layout. So now this one is to start with time to put these towers together. Um, there are three in the double span kit. You get a central one, which has two lots of these with the holes in, and that's where the tube goes into the, um, the tube that runs along the top sits into those. It's even got the little lugs that will sit on the end here. If you see that there, it will. Obviously, at the moment, I'm not doing it correctly, but there you go. That will sit in there. So that will disappear in. This will be inside. And the tube, once it's all shaped around properly, will end up slotting inside there as well. So that will be the centre one. And then, obviously, the two end ones, if you are going just for the single span kit or... I could say for the double, you'll get them with the uh, this, which is actually laser engraved in a little bit. Now, I've seen that Peter says once it's all painted up um, and ready for it, just go over it with a little bit of white filler and then wipe it off afterwards. And it brings up all of that, as you've seen on the bridge, in white, which, you know, again, could have just done stickers, but that is just showing the workmanship of this. It's absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, so these parts all go together. Now, again, as you saw in the last video, and I'm doing this, so I haven't got any comments or anything um, from the last video yet because I haven't even edited it, um, but it will have gone up. So hopefully by the time I build the second of these pillars, uh, towers, it will have... Uh, I would have possibly been able to do it because he's saying to use this stuff again. Now, I can see that it's going to go pear shaped. So for the first one, I'm going to go back to this. Um, I'm going to have to turn off Facebook in a minute because the notifications seem to be going mental on something. So yeah, this uh, will all be held together. Um, side bits and other bits all cut all slot in nicely, all hold together. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to crack on and uh, see what I can do with this. So <laughs> this could be fun. I've decided just to go shit or burst. Um, oh, lots. That's probably why I put far too much on. <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, run it down this will form the top of the tower now see I don't know how long this is supposed to take it to say about 10-15 seconds now while I'm holding that on the top you get this bit of balsa because if you have a look at this picture of the end towers which is what I'm making now you will notice that it is slightly domed so He's got in the kit this piece of balsa, which you will stick to the top and then mould it around so that you can take the corners off it to make it that slight doming effect. Ooh, it appears. I've stuck it in the wrong bloody... No, 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 we're... we're... Well, we're better than we were. It looks all right. Okay. So this will go on. Here. Oh, yeah, that's all. The angle of the dangle's all wrong, but never mind. I shall stick that on there on in a minute. So, as you can see, then it would. Uh... <laughs> you see, now I should concentrate because that one goes on the back there like that. So, I shall, I shall get these done 
and concentrate a bit more and I'm going to try and use this stuff and see how far I get. Well, so far so good. Um, appears I was probably doing it wrong last time, but it seems to have stuck together and I haven't had it, any accidents as yet. He nearly spoke too soon. So yeah, that's um, coming together quite well. So now I've got these little braces to put in the bottom here to square that up and then more bases, braces to go inside. So I shall get the bottom piece in first, in there. And uh, hope that I can crack on and get the others done. Well, that was relatively painless. Um, didn't think they would go together. Didn't actually stick anything to my fingers. But as you can see, all three of the towers are now done. So, yeah. It appears that that is okay, and it was just me obviously being a bit of a bit of a muppet to begin with. So these are done now. As I said before, the um, the hole is there for when you when I redo the tube. Um, the only issue I've found at the moment is, hang on a minute, let me grab the end of the bridge. Is here when the bridge you can see that it's got these bits on the side when it's in place it's very 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 tight squeeze so what i think i'm going to do is possibly and i'm going to talk to peter about this possibly either remove these bits here and cut where the pillar goes in the tower goes in or could possibly cut away that bit just zap it across there and then it could sit on the top of that piece there so um, it's pretty awkward to to do but basically it will go then in there which is the right height and be sitting in come on you little swine there so that will end up being the bridge. So the good thing about getting into modelling, again, is <laughs> new tools. Um, obviously you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to be very, very careful and just hopefully... And I don't know how good this glue is going to be. More than that. So this is what I'm going to do on both sides and free off. And this is all bloody glued together now, isn't it? Now I've done it properly. I shall get a little screwdriver, a little diddy one, and see if I can break it apart. So I will come back to you because I'm bound to stab that into my hands and I don't want to shout naughty words over YouTube. So there you go swearing averted for that instance but I've just re-glued this here because it had come apart when I tried prizing it and you know what's happened now um yeah obvious really isn't it had to happen at some point <sighs> that'll sand off <laughs> <clears throat> right I shall do the rest of them or that side um and then I will do a test and we'll see what it looks like all right well I've fitted it in. Now, the track bed will be coming away separate from this. You would leave it separate, that's no problem. So these towers will be glued. You'll have the other one coming off this side, the other span from the center. So these bits here will be glued. Now I've cut them away and I think that is how it goes. If you go in, to there and zoom in so you can see where no you can't yes you can there look you can see there on that dark edge is where the join goes together there 
and that is where I've cut it out and it's resting on the top of the actual track bed now here and here so if we zoom out a minute now take that there you go that's sliding out from there and then that will come off so then you've got the gap there that isn't in the instructions but it seems to be a decent way to do it and then obviously these bits here will be glued on and it'll all be glued as one structure yay right that's them done next bit okay it had to be done so i've got the end on across the first span to the center from the center across to the other end so that will give you some sort of scale as to how big the finished product is think it's going to be too big to go across there but who knows we may go elsewhere but I'm really looking forward to finishing the other bits and pieces now and then getting this whole structure together because at the moment it's not glued in or anything but yeah impressive so glad I went for it Right, with it broken down into component pieces, the next bit we need to do is to get these to the right shape. Now, as I've said in, I think, the first video, you get top and the bottom, and that corresponds with the top shape there to go into the top of that one. And obviously then the bottom as well. Now they do overlap slightly, but it means that we have to shape this. Now, I will be coming back to this because I've ordered a mini plane, a razor plane or some sort of plane, uh, to shape the wood to make it to that shape. And once it's done, these bits, which I said before, will be cut down as a little bit so then they can be located in the holes inside which means then that will fit down because they all marry up with those I did think about getting a drill and drilling all these out um, depending on how I can how I can shape the edge of this with them in I, I don't think that'll be a bit too difficult but um, obviously they've been glued in place. If I thought about it previously, I could have left maybe one or two out during the gluing process and then drilled all these little tiny holes here out because obviously I've put the outer casing on it. Then what I could have done is brought it down, teased it out enough so that it comes through and I mean, I still might be able to do that, but then that is going to make that extremely rigid because everything will be glued together. But that's a little bit down the line yet because I've got to await for the arrival of the little plane to do it, but it's certainly taking shape.